Hi everyone. Um, as I just kind of ended that last video abruptly, I do apologize. My, as you'll get to know, I, I have no talents. I'm old. I don't really know how to do video things. And so it, it, it just, it is what it is. And so I kind of sometimes am spastic and I, I hit the wrong buttons and stuff. So you just, you got to take it for what it is. It, I, I, like I say, I'm, I'm old. I'm not talented. I'm doing the best I can here. But I thought we would look into a little bit more about how, um, how really sad the marriage was that, um, was Michelle and Etienne. Um, and as I said, these are the videos that she brought in that she thought proved abuse and obviously they did not. And that's why, um, was thrown out, but, uh, we'll, we'll just pop in over here without much more ado, dog do. Here we go. Okay. We're going to come over here. So this is um, from back in 2020 again, and this is her her little intro to it. And it says, I love him so much. This was the most disgusting, greasy shit ever. I'm making a salad later, although I love his drunken concoctions. And this is where Etienne, you can tell that it, he just, they're not connecting, um, that he's had it with her, if you will. He's absolutely had it with her little shit fits, her immature um, look on life, her every day is a party way. He wanted a partner. He wanted somebody who he could, um, spend time with and, and have that reciprocity. And she really just went back into her addiction so far that he didn't have that. He still tried very much to nurture and take care of her. And this is where this starts out, where he is cooking for her. And as you can see, the kitchen is, is spotless because that's the way that he had it. He took very good care of the home. Shut up, Boo. And Boo Boo is my little cat here, and he, he looks over the internet and sometimes he turns off my sound and all kinds of stuff. So you'll get to you'll get to hear all things about Boo Boo and all of his his antics. But right now he's just looking over the laptop. Being a good boy. Don't bite me, baby. I love you. So what you doing, Boo? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Wait, look. Look at me. Chef Etienne, Grammy, corned beef hash, eggs, and what else? Corned beef. No, but you had eggs. That's it. Eggs, Grammy, and corned beef hash, and that's dinner. It's like what they make burritos out of. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> You're so <laughs> unhappy, <and> Cookie. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to taste so good. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> You want me to add some spam? Some oh, spam. God, no. No, we don't even have spam in here. Yeah, we do have spam. No, we don't. Let's go add some spam. We do, no, we don't even have spam. Again, we don't have spam. We do not have spam. We, we don't have spam. Now, see, look at, just look at how much different um, the house looked here. It's when it was clean, when the pantry was full of good and healthy choices. Um, one of the things that I really noticed in the kitchen since she's taken it over is there's literally like yellow nicotine coming off of the freaking walls from all of her smoking and nastiness in that house. You can tell Etienne kept everything really nice. <laughs> we don't have spam. We do not have spam. There it is. No, we don't have spam. No, we don't. Yeah, we don't have spam. <laughs> Throw it away. Give it to me. <laughs> we don't have spam. Don't throw that away. Yes. This is good. Look at all the beer cans there. Uh -huh. I mean, that's just, that's Michelle, all that beer. Um, and it's just throw away 
perfectly good food, just like we're seeing her with other things. It's like, she's just so freaking entitled. Like you can tell that whatever has happened, she's not really ever had to go without. She just, she disposes of things like it's nothing. Um, and, and just that, like, like as fast as she could, she just threw that in the garbage without even, but it's just, you can tell they're just not connecting. This is not a marriage anymore. This has devolved to, she loves that where somebody else is taking care of her and she is the petulant child. It's your first. <laughs> you bought it. I, didn't I know I didn't. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, gosh. I was going to show. Did you? Okay. So that laundry room. I saw that the other day um, in the other video where she's just trashed the laundry room. Everything was perfect when ATN was here. He he very much did everything, and um, that's what she liked. She liked him caring for her. She likes to be cared for. Oh, God. <laughs> this is our dinner. Yeah, this is a Cajun thing. This is our third shit together. <laughs> and so when I look really gross in my bathing suit, when, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, when you come camping with me, <laughs> she's having to repeatedly be like look at me look at me look at me look at me and he won't um i think that you can tell that he's very uncomfortable he's not the kind of man who wants to be on film um and he doesn't want to be a part of this she's not good at reading the room this is why <laughs> Oh God, I'm not eating that. Okay, well I am. I'm literally making a salad. There's crummy bad ground meat and eggs. You are so gross. So much protein. So much fucking fat. Shame on you. Yeah. Look, babe. It seems to me that he is insulted by her ungratefulness um you know, whatever it is he's cooking for her because she is not she like I say doing this cooking show it's the biggest joke because she's never cooked for anybody she doesn't know how to care for others it's always been all about her from every all the information I've gotten um and I I just can't imagine that if somebody was cooking for me, even if it wasn't my first choice, I can't imagine just putting it down like that. And and that's where it seems like he he feels, he just feels like, you know, it looks like he feels like he's just tired of not being appreciated. Um not seen as an equal. He doesn't see her, you know, as, as a way of having a, an adult res respectful res relationship anymore. If you can see that they're just really not on the same level. I love us. Did you hear me? Okay. So she's, um, focusing in on this picture and this is from her, her illustrious crowd surfing days. And, you know, that's when she's in her glory, you know, she's standing above everybody, you know, look at her just really zooming in on that picture that she's got there. That's, that's her. That's, that's the queen of crowd surfing right there. And he's got her and, and that's when things were fun. And you can see how differently she looked then. Um, and I think that for a while she was a good partner for ETN and, and they did have those good times, but once she got a taste of that that crowd surfing and, and being on top of everybody you know on top of the world and having everybody beneath her as she treats everybody it became addictive and, and she's just got that addictive personality and it, it seems to me that he just looks very sad he looks very sad at the, you know the situation that he's in and the, the maybe the partner that he lost and in, in the dreams of the marriage that he thought he was going to have and keep in mind this is once again one of the videos that she brought to the judge to show that this is ETN abusing her. 
And that one was just, that was just a quickie, y'all. Um. <laughs>